So we introduced one more circuit element called the CPE or constant phase element. Now let's look at a related element that people call Warburg element or sometimes just W Warburg element. It is a special type of CPE constant phase element with the exponent equal to 0.5. It represents impedance that is due to mass transfer limitation by diffusion. It represents impedance uh, due to mass transfer limitation by the diffusion process. Okay, and quite often we use this symbol W for Warburg element, and the impedance quite often is given as what we said before, one over y zero j omega to the power of 0.5 or square root of j omega. Okay, so this would be the impedance for this special element called the Warburg element or ZW. And if mathematically we can go from here to here by keeping the real term together, y0 in the denominator, square root of omega in the denominator, and then the 1 over square root of j, 1 over square root of j, um, 1 over square root, that is minus 0 0.5 to the power, and then what is j? j is in based on Euler formula, it would be exponential of j times half pi, okay? And then this minus 0.5 and the exponent we can combine, we would have, okay, the pre-exponential term still 1 over y0 omega square root, and then the exponent would be minus minus j, j, but half pi becomes uh, divide times 0.5 become quarter pi, pi over 4, okay? And then this exponential term, exponential term, if you want, we can expand it in cosine and term and uh, sine term. The cosine term without j, cosine minus half a quarter pi would be uh, 1 over square root of 2, or 2 over, uh, or square root of 2 over 2. And then j term we keep, and the sine minus quarter pi would become minus 1 over square root of 2. Okay, so now we can expand either in polar formula or in the real and imaginary form type. And sometimes people introduce some additional um, parameters such as sigma and rewrite this to be sigma omega to the power of uh, minus 0 0.5 because this is 1 over square root of omega so it's minus 0 0.5 and then inside the parentheses we just keep the real term 1 and imaginary term minus j okay so this would be the impedance either in um, polar format or in the real versus imaginary format for this complex impedance for verbal element. We said again, it is a special CPE constant phase element with exponent of half or 0.5, indicating the impedance related to mass transfer limited by diffusion. So clearly, the pre exponential term, 1 over y0 square root of omega, that would be the magnitude or absolute value for the impedance, and it would depend on clearly uh, omega radio frequency or just the frequency. And uh, as you can see, when radio frequency goes towards infinity, the magnitude goes towards zero, while when the uh, in radio frequency omega or frequency goes towards zero, then the magnitude goes towards infinity. The other one would be at a high frequency, at high frequency, which means high omega, then the um, impedance due to this mass transfer limitation or Warburg, Warburg impedance would be negligible. 
would be negligible because the magnitude goes to a zero. And it makes sense because when the at high frequency, you are constantly switching back and forth for the electrical driving force. And of course, the reaction don't have to move far. Okay, don't have to move far. And that's just enough of species to support the um, reversible reaction. On the other hand, for low frequency, when omega or f goes towards zero, goes towards zero, then the magnitude would be much larger, much more significant. You cannot neglect it. Actually, the lower the omega, the larger this magnitude, which means reactant would have to diffuse further and get it more and more difficult, which increases the um, impedance associated with the diffusion. And then if we plot it up, still imaginary versus real. And imagine quite often you put a negative sign ahead of it. Sometimes people call it a Nyquist plot. And then we would have a series of points starting from origin. And again, origin ends is when frequency or radio frequency goes towards infinity, which means the magnitude would be zero. It would be right at its origin. And then it has a constant angle. It has a constant angle of um, pi over 4. Okay, it has a constant phase shift or angle of pi over 4 for all these different points on the impedance spectrum. Okay, and then from the origin going out along this straight line, the frequency or radio frequency decreases. At the origin, that's when the frequency approach infinity, while as uh, f um, frequency decreases, go to more towards zero, then the magnitude of the impedance goes larger and larger. Okay, goes larger and larger, and the omega or frequency increases larger and larger. And uh, this is what we said, a diagonal line, a diagonal line. And the slope, this is um, pi over 4. Of course, the slope would be 1, as you can see here. And this is minus 1. We have 1 here because our vertical axis quite often is minus imaginary. Okay, And the Nyquist plot or the imaginary real plot. Finally, to summarize, to summarize our different basic electrical circuit element, that impedance. We have resistor, ideal resistor. The impedance would just be R. We have ideal con inductor, ideal coil. And then the re impedance would be just J omega L. We haven't talked much about this uh, because typically the circuit may not have a large coil. But for capacitor, the electrode process quite often involve a process similar to double layer charging to capacitor, and then the impedance ideal case would be 1 over j omega c. Okay, and then the for q for constant phase element, that's what we said impedance is 1 over y0, j omega raised to the power of alpha. And then we said the y0 is equivalent to capacitance or conductance, depending on the alpha. And alpha is an exponent from 0 to 1. When alpha is 0, we are approaching ideal resistor. When alpha approach 1, we are approaching pure capacitor. And finally, Warburg impedance. Warburg impedance is a special case for CPE, constant phase element, except alpha would be 0.5. And we said, OK, it's still a straight line with a constant angle of pi over 4. And uh, as we decrease the frequency from infinity, the impedance magnitude increase along this linear straight line. Okay.